I'm Amanda Gomez in for Jackie Parks. And I'm Troy Campbell in for Todd Carley. Kern County Supervisor Leticia Perez has changed her residency, making her officially eligible to run for former Senator Michael Rubio's 16th district seat. 23 ABC's Carlos Correa, he's live in our newsroom with more on her quick search to find a home. Carlos. Troy and Amanda, in order to be in the game, Leticia Perez says you have to play by the rules. And so today, with the help of supporters, she became an official candidate running for the 16th district seat. Good to see you. After a quick search, Kern County Supervisor Leticia Perez has a new home. May I change my voter registration? Okay, so uh, you have address, a for me. Which now makes her eligible to stay on as candidate running for the 16th District State Senate seat once held by Michael Rubio. Okay, fantastic. Looks like it's all, all re registered. The search for a new home started three days ago with plenty of help coming from campaign supporters. And I've been utterly amazed at how many friends, family, church members were out. You know, scouring the district, driving around, looking at rental properties, talking to owners, uh, lists and lists of properties from property management places. It, it was really incredible to watch how many people came together in such a short period of time. The election division cleared campaign officials to run, but the Secretary of State reversed that decision. It's fair. Uh, they've made their decision. We are prepared to live by it, just like everyone else will. And we're moving forward. It's a small hiccup, but we're, uh, we're rocking and rolling. All right. All right. With these hit press. There's a little over seven weeks left before the election, giving Perez a short time to meet with voters. It's going to be a very quick election. Um, we're really excited. There's a lot of energy out there and uh, just look forward to working hard. Campaign leaders will go door to door, make phone calls and even run campaign ads on television. You know what? We're just going to move forward and uh, we want to uh, we're going to present to the voters her, her plan for the district and her plan, I think, uh, and how uh, those families who go to work and work hard every day need a raise. And uh, we're gonna, um, she believes in a, a hand up, not a um, handout, and uh, we're going to be presenting that message very soon. Late this afternoon, we learned that Fran Flores announced she's dropping out of the 16th Senate District race, and we're told by leaders with the Perez campaign that this will secure Perez's endorsement from the California Democratic Party. The special general election takes place in July. The primaries are set for May 21st. In the newsroom, Carlos Correa, 23ABC. All right, good stuff, Carlos.